Imarin, Imarin, Imarin is dead. Now, I love the Iron Kingdoms. I always have. I first got into this series way back in college about a decade ago, before they were even books. I remember going through the sales pages of the miniatures on Private Press's website, looking at the beautiful models and reading the lore. I'll tell you how long ago this was. I remember Molik Tharn's old lore. Not well, but I remember it. I remember checking the website at one point and seeing the convergence of Cirrus had just been added. But my thought was at the time, I'm in college, don't have a lot of spare cash, I'll get into this later. I seriously started getting into this about half a decade after, as a research project for another game I was working on. And I loved it even more. I got all the books, I read all of them religiously, continuously, it got to be kind of annoying how often I read them. But always my thought was, I'm starting a business, don't have a lot of spare cash right now, I don't have the time, I'll get into this later. And then, things got weird. They started releasing new limited release factions that made no sense. The Grimkin were really weird, I never liked them. Crucible Guard was just Signar with a literally different paint scheme. But still my thought was, I still like the game, it's still great, I'll get into this later. I was actually on the original Battle College, yes it was called Battle College at one point when the servers went offline. It was terrifying. I clicked on a link, and there's nothing. And there's nothing ever again. It still it still haunts me in, in a meaningful way. And then during, I believe, the pandemic, the Infernals were announced, and I thought, wow, they're actually making them playable. That's amazing. And then all at once the Infernals came out, and the game was dead. And I had not been told. And I never got to play it. So I panicked. I went to every local gaming store, bought pretty much every private press miniature I thought I could have a use for. They weren't even legal in the same army. I found a death jack under a bunch of other boxes in the back of a game store. I found a Kane's Hellslingers on somewhere else in the same game store. I ordered every single miniature I'd ever wanted to have. None of them could be played with themselves in the same army, by the way, from online gaming stores. I have the last two Warp Wolf Stalkers on the internet. And then the ultimate insult came. I opened my death jack to put it together, and it was broken. There were huge plastic struts coming out of the joints. I literally couldn't make it work. My Warpool Stalker that I had paid $75 for, the sword was bent. I had to soak it in hot water and put it under a book for a day to get it to be remotely usable. I went on the Private Press Facebook page to try and get them to send me a fixed version of the miniatures I paid full price for, and the entire Facebook page was swamped with posts just like mine. My miniatures are broken, there are pieces missing, they don't work. And strange enough, they only ever posted once. Once ever. Don't know why that was. And it was then I had a horrifying realization. This game had not died. They killed it. But I'm not making this video to make us all sad. I think we're all pretty sad enough right now. I'm making this video to give us all a bit of hope. My Wargame Dominion just entered open playtest on my website, infinitygamestudios.com. It is heavily inspired by the second edition of War Machine. It, in fact, wouldn't exist without that edition being something I had read at that point in my life. There are five factions in the playtest and ten planned for the core game, and I designed it so that no matter what faction you played in War Machine, Hordes, or even Warhammer Fantasy Battle, there will be a faction that feels just right for you. And here's the best part. You can play it with your old private depressed miniatures. The game is designed from the ground up to be compatible with any miniatures from any company regardless of size or base type. Everything works. Period. Now, I know this game can never give us back the games we all collectively have lost, but maybe it can give us something to do with the pieces of those games that we still want in our lives. And maybe that's good enough. Thank you for watching. I promise that all my videos will be this sad, but this had to be said. McPherson out.